Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, have a very beautiful day here to behold. Beautiful conditions, as you can see. All the solar is going to get up to a very nice charge today. Trade winds are blowing, keeping the humidity at a very comfortable level, and we're heading for a high of about 84 today. So, going to be a little warm. All right, first things first, we're going to head up to the shop before we get into the, uh, the real subject of today's video, which is going to be uh, asking the question, how are human beings like a battery? So I hope it all makes sense. And we're just going to take care of a couple of... Uh, technical updates real quick that I got. Uh, one was from uh, Robert4027, I believe his handle was, uh, mentioning that, or asking me if I knew that there was a Victron charge controller updates today. I hadn't made it up or looked at any of my charge controllers so far today to know that, uh, but he's right. So I imagine all of you will have upgrades or updates to your firmware on the Victron charge controllers and I'm going to do that to all of mine today so thank you Robert4027 for that and the other quick update is for the past couple of weeks I've been letting this charge and see if it would hold a charge I've got some mixed results it's still under an experiment it's going to be a pretty in-depth uh, when I do come back and show you that, but I'm still piecing it all together and still finishing up a couple of days. I did get another inverter for that. Uh, so hopefully this will start working. Okay, so I'm not trying to screw up my algorithm on YouTube, uh, but pretty much uh, I'm pretty good at doing that anyway. So yeah, this ought to do it. So why are we like the batteries that I've spent so much time over the past few years showing us all how to charge up and you guys telling me how to charge them up and deplete them and whatnot. And I'm going to put that on the human being because we're all basically batteries. We have lots of different kinds of energy we can exchange from human to human. And just to give you a little bit of a history, uh, I was an ICU nursing for many, many years, and that was a long time ago. And, you know, when we get patients in the ICU, you know, it wasn't long after them being admitted that what we did to them and being in the unit, which was devoid of any sunlight, any windows, and depending what kind of condition they were in, they wouldn't be there very long before their battery started draining. You know, lots of different kinds of medications, lots of different kinds of devices, uh, no good sleep, all of those things. Kind of hard to heal up and feel good under the best of conditions, right? So while I was doing that, one of the things that I used to do with a lot of my patients that were having a hard time is I would go in there and sometimes just gently rub their head, hold their hand, stroke their arm, light touch. All of that was taking some of my energy and giving it to them. There is an exchange, right? Whether you're just simply holding someone, laying your hand on them, rubbing their head, there's an exchange of heat, which feels good. There is a little electrical current, which is good. It gives people a different sense of themselves in those conditions or any condition. If you're touching people, you're gonna to make a difference. 
a simple hug can go a very long way. So why do I mention this? So again, talking with another dear friend of the channel earlier this morning, you know, about the, how crazy things are. And they are. And everybody that I see is talking about that. And a lot of people are feeling uh, stressed, anxious, uh, depressed. And no matter where they live, no matter what they think, we're all feeling some things, right? So what do I do as I keep touching people? Yeah, if you just gently hold somebody's head, scratch their head for a minute, their blood pressure will settle down a little bit. Anxieties can ease. Give somebody a simple foot rub. You know, if you've had that, you know how good that feels. Uh, so you are exchanging energy, basically taking from you being a battery and putting it into someone whose battery is depleted a little bit. It does work. These are not uh, wishful ideas. Anytime any of us has been touched like that, we feel an immediate benefit. We kind of boost up a little bit, feel better, calm down. Respirations can smooth down. You know, I saw that in the ICU. Now, I quickly was told uh, by the powers that be in the ICU that I was not to touch people like that, which really blew my mind. That made no sense to me. I mean, part of nursing is offering a therapeutic touch, in my opinion. But the particular charge nurse that I had at the time, who was running the floor, was afraid that uh, might do something. I don't know what. Couldn't elaborate on that, but anyway, uh, I was told in certain terms that other than just straightforward nursing and, and following orders was all that was required of me. Um, so I couldn't go along with that. So I shifted gears at a certain point in time to where I could offer what I wanted to do for people in a different setting. Yeah, you'll never convince me that rubbing somebody's head uh, is not good for them. All right, let me just read to you a few things I've jotted down about the scientific and physiological energy exchange. So, you know, physical energy transfer, a measurable, though small amount of physical energy is transferred during touch. This includes the transfer of body heat and tiny electrical currents generated by the nervous system. What P? <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Uh, there's a hormonal exchange. You know, positive physical contact, like a hug, can trigger the release of a cascade of neurochemicals that affect mood and emotional bonding. Oxytocin, often called the cuddle hormone, uh, promotes feelings of trust, bonding, and connection. But dopamine and serotonin, those feel-good hormones, right, elevate mood and enhance well-being. And another important uh, hormone, cortisol. You know, levels of the stress hormone cortisol decrease, resulting in lower stress and anxiety. So this is what I'm talking about. So the HeartMath Institute has measured the transfer of electromagnetic energy produced by the heart when people touch or in close proximity. So going beyond the skin, right? Yeah. This research shows that one person's heart rhythm signal can be registered in another person's brain waves, the EEG, and other parts of the body, and is stronger with skin-to-skin -skin contact. So you don't even have to touch people. It's just, you know, being with people. 
coming from an old hermit, that's that's a, quite a revelation for me. And of course, the psychological, you know, moods and emotional states can be contagious. You know, if you're around someone feeling good, uh, positive, uh, that can have an effect. So that's an exchange of energy there too. I can already see YouTube not knowing what to do with this video. I'll have to come up with a clever uh, uh, thumbnail title. <laughs> uh, uh, they can shun you if you're not being real commercial. So what I want to suggest is if you find yourself in a, you know, a stressful uh, situation and you're feeling your anxiety creep up and maybe the conversation and the content of the conversation is wearing you out, uh, especially right now. And I've experienced that myself. Uh, and if you really care about the person, which, you know, we all care about each other, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Be positive. Give them a hug. Uh, if you're so inclined, rub their head. Anyone that's feeling the, the pressures of what is happening uh, in this world of ours today can benefit from any of these things that I've suggested. I see it firsthand on a regular basis. So getting back to the, the human being being the battery, you have lots of energy inside of you. Lots and lots of energy, and that can be therapeutic, not only for yourself, but for others as well. Absolutely. And don't let your battery get too depleted as just an ICU patient. If the battery gets too depleted, you're not going to be healthy. You're going to have a hard time staying healthy. It's the same thing whether you're sick or not. All of these added stresses on your system can just discharge you, discharge you, discharge you. And uh, it can be harder to get back up to feeling vital. So for for you and all of your loved ones, and, uh, I, you know, I touch people that I don't even know that much about them, you know. It might just be for one thing or another. Uh, touch uh, is a very, very important part of how to connect with a human being and the exchange of energy. So in that sense, I hope it made sense is, you know, if you think of yourself and you're feeling vital and you've got good energy and you see somebody else that's being bogged down by uh, whatever, uh, you can touch them and make a difference. Yeah. So those of you that follow the channel should get notified of a video. I'm not sure that uh, YouTube's going to do much to spread it around, but if you found it, uh, helpful or informative uh, we can't all be we can't all let our batteries get depleted right same way as all these lithium batteries I've talked about for years you know we don't just let them go dead we slap on an extra solar panel we do whatever it takes to keep those batteries up and running so that's that's all I'm saying is let's do whatever we can to get everybody's batteries you know up to full charge and if they start feeling gooder, gooder, <laughs> if they start feeling better, uh, maybe they can go into float. So I have seen these physiological changes that I speak of. I have monitored people with, you know, I've taken people's blood pressure before a treatment, after a treatment. There's a difference in the positive. High blood pressure can be lowered drastically respirations can if they're breathing very very shallow and not taking good full breaths oxygenating themselves right down to the blood cells uh, efficiently that can change too I've been doing this for a long long time so uh, I know more about that than I'll ever know about using my solar panels with my lithium batteries um, we can recharge each other as well and uh, I think we need a boost. I think we need a, a boost right now. So please let me know if you guys like the content of this. You know, some of, like I've mentioned before, um, I'm not being as commercial anymore. I can talk about 
these things more in depth and show you more exactly what I'm talking about with those results. I'm changing uh, a little bit of direction just because I don't have the patience anymore with a lot of these uh, companies wanting to send batteries out here for review as much as I would like to do that and keep showing you guys what's new on the market. Uh, I find most of the companies right now, uh, their requirements and uh, demands of how I am to uh, show you guys, uh, I, I'm not even wasting my time with them. You know, if one wants to just send one out and say, do what you do, that's fine, but I'm not seeing that anymore. So uh, I'm kind of over that. Uh, I still have hopes that someone will just say, hey, just just keep doing what you're doing, which is what how they usually say they want to have a video produced. But then they get down to, you know, pages of like, we want this, we want that, we want this. And it's like, nah. So I am going to make a lot of different changes on the channel. I've got a lot of people I can go around and see and show you guys their systems and Kind of take you on a lot of tours that's going to happen and that's kind of in the works uh so yeah by shifting gears a little bit i get punished by youtube quite a bit as far as how they distribute my videos although i've got enough friends in all of you that you know that doesn't really bother me it's not like i'm trying to to get to as many people as possible i figure i will connect with the people i'm supposed to and that's just absolutely fine but uh yeah, let me let me know if, if uh, these type of things are what you guys want to be hearing from, hearing about. I find it almost impossible not to touch on these subjects right now because in my daily acts of living and running around the island and seeing people, uh, these are the subjects that are coming up. So it's part of what's going on with me. I assume it's what's going on with a part of you guys as well. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so mahalo, Dougie, for uh, our earlier conversation. That really helped me to get motivated and uh, and say some things that I wanted to say, and I hope this all made sense for you guys. I'll try and do better. <laughs> Aloha, everybody. Be well where you are. Love each other. Touch each other. Uh, let's charge each other's batteries up. Have a great day, everybody. All my brothers and sisters out there. <laughs>